Hi guys, just an update video on things. Um, Gravely's are both working hard. I'm just preparing them for the show this weekend. I got a um, uh, truck and tractor show at our local museum coming up here pretty soon. So I'll be bringing the Gravely, this one, the Commercial 12, Ford LGT diesel lawn, lawn tractor, a whole bunch of stuff. So I haven't done much to the car really. Just cleaned out the interior of the Model T, you know. Um, um, one of the guys says all these, uh, one of my friends that's an expert in Model T's, um, says all these wheels, there's only one that's correct for this year. That's this one, all the rest are all in correct sizes, and he says none of them are reusable. I'm either going to have to respoke them or buy new wheels. So, I think I might just buy a set of wire wheels, because they did come with them. Because they look a lot nice for the wire wheels. Um, the engine's coming along, but I'm not going to do anything to it, because that friend that was also, I said, talked to me about the Model T, is also giving me a running 1917 Model T engine to go in it. So this thing might, this engine's going to be a side project. But since it's a 1917, it only has, it's only, um, doesn't have a starter and a generator. So to run the lights, I'll either have to get an alternator kit or put a rectifier on the magneto. You see on this engine, I got the oil pan off, see the timing gear camshaft. Camshaft's pretty much toast. If you can see there, it's very, very rusted. Very rusted. Um, you see, I got a piston out down there. I was able to get it out. Broke a ring in the process. I'm pro if I want to get this engine, I'll probably need new pistons because there was pretty bad scoring on the side of it. On the cylinder. Well, oh, I'm sorry, not on the cylinder, on the piston itself. The transmission's in good shape and everything. Um, yeah, this one he says it take costs 500 to 600 bucks to get running. I don't have that kind of money lying around. So he's giving me this running engine, so that'll be great. And I'll probably shorten the Model T preservation by about a year, probably. This would have taken a long time, a lot of time and a lot of money. So that's, that's really good, so now I'll be able to concentrate on the car. And the car, what I need for the car is the guts of the brake drums. There's nothing inside the brake drums on the rear. I need the new wheels, and also for the engine he's given me, I need a carburetor, which is a Holly NH. So if any of you guys might, out there might have a rebuildable Holly, Holly NH carburetor, I'm looking for them. Um, commercial trolls are looking good, just cleared a lady's horse pasture. Horses weren't keeping it down, so I knew her and she hired me to do it. Push hog, cut down stuff that was just about as tall as me, and I'm about 5'10". But um, this thing worked great, There's no lack of power, this thing's doing really good. Um, so I'm looking forward to the show this weekend uh, for all the truck shows and like that. And also um, on August 12th, 13th, and 14th, uh, I'm going to the Gravely Mowing in Brownville, Pennsylvania. So if you guys probably meet up with me down there, you'll see I'll probably have the Commercial 12. I'm definitely going to be bringing that old one that my great-grandfather had. So you'll probably see me there if you're going. I know one other guy on YouTube is going, so I'll probably be meeting up with him. So yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. Also. Before I end the video, I want to show you um, my garden that I've been working on here for quite a while. I'm using the Gravely's in it the whole time, both the Commercial 12 and the L8. It's coming along really good. See here, I got three, two and a half rows of potatoes. See them right there. And I got six rows of corn, each probably about 75 feet long. I have a farm stand here. So, Hopefully I'll make some good money for some projects off this. See, it's a very big garden. So, thanks for watching the video, guys. Please comment. If you have any questions about Gravy's and Model T's, please leave those too. Um, thanks for watching. Yep, bye.